Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Healthspan. This is part two of our All About NMN, the practical steps to choose an NMN supplier and explain the difference between NMN formats. In case you missed part one, NMN back to the basics and why we started taking NMN, please find the link above on the screen. First, a disclaimer that this is just us sharing our anti-aging experience and some practical steps we have applied when taking NMN and is not a recommendation or medical advice. So how to choose a supplier? When we started NMN in 2019, there were not many choices in the market. It was not difficult to check the details of each one of them. Now there are many NMN brands. We have found that the basic points we use for filtering the suppliers before are still quite effective when applied to finding a good quality and more trustable brand in the sea of NMN suppliers. Let's hear what Dr. Sinclair said about this in one of his podcasts. When I don't have my own basement supply, um, I go to what everyone else would do is either go to the the uh, vitamin shop um, or to Amazon or an online shop and look for the following. Look for a reputable company. Um, how, do you know? how do you know? It's really hard. Uh, there, are, there are larger companies that have been around for a while. Um, I won't name names, but you know, if this is a company that just popped up in Florida or Utah, stay away until proven otherwise. Uh, they need to show a certificate of purity, ask for that. Um, and there's a thing called GMP, which is Good Manufacturing Practices. And uh, so look for a GMP in the US. Other countries have different measures, but that means they're pure. As Dr. Sinclair mentioned, look for a GMP certified supplier. GMP or Good Manufacturing Practices is not product specific, but refers to the facilities that the company is using. GMP are a set of best practices laying out baseline requirements for manufacturers, covering everything from labeling and packaging to ingredient sourcing and formulation. To be GMP certified, the facility must pass a comprehensive audit by a third party organization. Secondly, look for a third party certificate of quality and purity. This should be posted on the website and should be as recent as possible. As mentioned by Dr. Sinclair, purity for NMA should be expected to be over 98%. Here is an example of a certificate from the supplier that we are using at the moment. Another item to look for is a certificate showing the levels of heavy metals in the product. Also good to make sure that the company can ship to your location. And what will the shipping cost be? And will there be any additional charges such as duty? And then the price of the product since the price of NMN varies quite a lot, some by format and some by the discounts that they offer. We normally check the price from a different platforms first. Those are the most concrete indications, but a couple of other things that we like to look for to further minimize the risk. It is always good to check other customer comments. There may be some on the company website. Also, whether you buy the product from Amazon or not, you can always look at the customer comments there. Other things to check, does the company have a customer service contact? On the same podcast, Dr. Sinclair talked about his plan for helping people identify a good supplier. Tell you something that I've just recently decided to explore. Uh, so every day I wake up to hundreds of emails. Where do I buy this stuff? Can you sell it to me? I, I can't do that. I'm a scientist and I'm objective. I need to be able to be trusted. Um, the moment I start selling something, then I'm going to, you know, you're going to say, well, he just says that because he sells it. It's true. But then with, with this dilemma that I'm saying, here's what I do. Here's what the science says. You're on your own. That's not fair either, is it? I, I, I struggle with that. What I tell hundreds of people every day, other than tough luck, I don't want to do that. So what I'm working with uh, another professor at Harvard is the possibility of giving um, at least a third party, um, the means to test products. And mm. they can have a seal of approval if it's at least mm. what they say it is. Mm. That's fantastic. Another question with respect to NMN is what format to use. At this time, I will only talk about the formats that we have used before. In this table, I have used the pricing from a single vendor, ProHealth, as they offer all four formats, so the comparison is the most direct. It does seem that as the formats become more complicated and hence require more manufacturing, 
they become more expensive. Do note that the benefits I will talk about are those that are proposed by the vendor of the format. Powder is the cheapest, as there is the least amount of manufacturing involved. It is also versatile in that it can be used sublingually or taken with water. Dr. Sinclair gives his mice the N their NMN in the drinking water, so this is a tried and tested method of delivery. One of the concerns when taking NMN is that it will be degraded by the acid in the stomach. So the capsule format attempts to get round this by using a coating that resists the acid and releases the NMN in the small intestines. Here, the NMN can be absorbed into the gut wall by the transporter SLC-12A8 and hence into the bloodstream. Sustained release is a tablet which releases the NMN over time so that the NAD levels will be maintained. And finally, the lozenge format is convenient for sublingual administration. The benefit of sublingual is that the NMN can dissolve directly through the mucous membrane into the blood and bypass both the digestive tract and the liver as there is evidence that the liver processes a lot of the NMN and converts it into nicotinamide. One other thing to consider is how to store the NMN. Youthefa, one of the major NMN manufacturers, mentioned that their second generation NMN has a more compact structure, as shown on the left hand graph, than on the older sawtooth structure, which is shown on the right. The supplier we are currently using has performed tests of the NMN, which has shown it to be stable for 90 days at 104 degrees Fahrenheit, which is around 40 degrees centigrade. It should be noted that NMN will degrade if damp. We keep ours in a sealed container in our wine cellar. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button and choose all for any new video release notifications. It encourages us to continue to create more videos about anti-aging and extending healthy lifespan. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.